Hello, my name is Dr. Richard Fee. Welcome to Healthy Lifestyles 1, HSS 184. I'll be your instructor for this course. We'll be covering a lot of material on this course, about a chapter a week for 15 weeks. So buckle up, tighten up your seat belts, it's gonna be a fast ride. I hope that you'll enjoy the course and I hope that you'll find a lot that interests you on this course. If you need to get in touch with me, my office phone number is 502-852-0549. That's 502-852-0549. And leave me a message. Generally, I respond to voicemails in 24 to 48 hours, except on weekends and over the, week, over the holidays. Remember, some problems are much easier to fix with the rapid exchange of information that can happen in a phone call rather than in a series of email exchanges. My office hours for this semester will be Tuesday and Thursdays, 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can call me then and get, get me there in my office. If you need to email me, email to professor at louisville.edu. That's professor at louisville.edu. I generally respond to emails in 24 to 48 hours, except on weekends and over holidays. Also, I will be online every Wednesday afternoon from 1.30 to 3.30 Eastern Standard Time, so you can contact me and get a fast response by email. If you have any questions about any aspect of this fully online course, please make sure you contact me as soon as possible. Now, let me explain a little bit about this class. If you notice when you get online and get into the course on Blackboard, there's a row of buttons on the left side of the main page and the first button says, start here, and that's where I want you to start. I put some instructions there on what to do first and what to read next and so forth, and what to do it after all that. As well, I put some instructions about navigating on Blackboard. I think if you're used to um, Blackboard, you should find it an easy course to navigate. If you are not used to Blackboard, pay attention closely to the instructions, and you should be okay. If you have any questions at all, email me or call me and let me help you with your situations. All of your assignments will be in the assignments folder. Organized by units, there are three units. Each unit will cover five weeks and five chapters, a chapter a week. There will be three units and at the end of each unit there will be a timed exam over the material in that unit. Every week you will find material laid out for you that needs to be accomplished that week by Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to get everything done. And if you get everything done, then day by day, week by week, when you get to the end of the semester, you will have accomplished all you need to do to get this course successfully completed. I set up this course so that you can experience success. That's what I want to have happen. I want you to be successful in this class. The first assignment you should complete is to introduce yourself on, to the class in the first discussion board, instructions on what to include are in the first week's assignments folder. Please paste a picture of yourself into your introduction. <clears throat> Excuse me. Quizzes are assigned on a regular basis, and you will find them in the quizzes folder inside the assignments folder. Your first quiz is a practice quiz. You can take it as many times as you want to or need to to get, and you get to count the highest score. I'm doing that so you get used to online testing. If you haven't done online testing before, I know it can be stressful. This way, hopefully, you'll get used to online testing before you get into the timed exam. There will be one other quiz that you can take multiple times for practice. All the rest of the quizzes and the exams will be timed and can be taken only once. The exams and quizzes will come up with all the questions displayed at once so you can scroll through and answer each of the questions and then submit the test or the quiz in its entirety. Make sure you have a good connection and a stable computer before you attempt a quiz or an exam. Little warning here, you must answer all the questions before you submit the quiz. You cannot enter it, answer a few, then leave before submitting it and trying to re-enter it. You'll be locked out and in that case, um, I can help you re-enter the exam or quiz, but I will only do so once for obvious reasons. Some instructors have the testing set up to the students so that they submit uh, each question with a screen refresh after each question. But with each screen refresh, there's a chance for your computer to hang up. 
I found that there are fewer problems with taking the whole test at once. There are fewer chances for your computer to hang up. That's the way I like it, and I'm sure that's the way you like it too, to have less problems. If you do experience technical problems with the course material, please call the Delphi Help Center online at 502-852-8833. That's 502-852-8833. The staff there is most excellent and effective and will be able to help you. Most problems students have revolve around using the wrong browser or not having your browser configured correctly. You can check a list of approved browsers on the opening page of Blackboard to make sure you are using the right browser. If you are using the correct browser and still having problems with videos or submissions, you may be having problems because your browser is not configured correctly. The Delphi Center will be able to help you correctly with getting your browser configured. Um, that's, a, that's something for them to help you with. Uh, they'll be much better that, at that than I will. Exams will appear in the assignment folder at the time they are to be completed. You will have Friday and Saturday to take an exam and one attempt to get it finished. All written assignments should be submitted to Blackboard using the link provided in the weekly assignments. The link will look like a pair of compass uh, image. The document containing your answers should be saved as a .doc or .docx file. If you use Pages as a word processor, you can then still save that Pages document as a .doc file in Pages and then submit that. Do not email assignments to me as I do not accept emailed assignments. All assignments should be submitted to Blackboard so that I can download them completely together. Also, the university um, provides you with an email account and so use that to communicate with me as well as your classmates. Sending me emails from Yahoo, Gmail, Hotmail, and the like is risky as the university server can put emails from those sources in the spam folder. And I do not check my spam folder, so be forewarned. I'd like to talk a little bit about the lab assignments. Please compose your lab reports with your best grammar and with complete sentences. Remember, you are writing for your audience, not for yourself only. So you want the meaning of your sentences to be clear and unambiguous. You may want to use the services of the Virtual Writing Center as noted in the announcements page. This is a great way to improve your writing skills at no cost. Um, all you have to do is submit your, your document to them and they will help you with improving it, uh, give you suggestions on how to improve it. There will be opportunities for you to interact with each other on the discussion boards. A discussion board is a chance for you to express your views on important personal health issues facing Americans at this time, based on your study of the chapter and other authoritative sources. Discussion boards are our class discussion times and are an important vehicle in this class for facilitating critical thinking. Therefore, please adhere to the same courtesies and personal deportment you would deploy in a face-to-face -face classroom situation. Guidelines for participation in the discussion boards are posted with each discussion board assignment. As well, read the netiquette pages posted on the assignment page or uh, as well as in your syllabus. Remember that all your assignments are found in the assignment folder. If you have any questions about any of these assignments, please let me know. So, at this time, I'd like to say, get ready, here we go, and let's have a great semester. You take care, it was great talking with you, and I hope to get to know each of you during the semester. Enjoy the semester and be healthy. Bye.